me and welcome to Songs and Crafty Time with me, Danielle, the Enchanted Nanny. Now, before I start, I just want to check you can all see me okay. Bella, are we at the right angle? Shall I just turn I that a little? I can see the entire ox. Is that okay? Can you see Gruffalo? There we go. We want to make sure you can see everybody. Now, I wonder how you've all been doing after learning today's sound, which was... Oh! I was so proud of all of you and it's wonderful to be able to celebrate. Today, we are going to work together to make our own paper octopus. And we're going to use him and his tentacles to count. Oh, I'm so excited. But before we do that, we've got lots and lots of lovely songs to sing together. Let's start with our hello song. Is everybody sitting comfortably? Then let's begin. Hello everybody, it's time for us to sing. Hello everybody, it's time for us to sing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Time for us to sing. It's so great to see you on this very rainy Friday. My goodness, I can't believe the weather. I know. Let's help ourselves to remember the order of the days of the week by singing our very special days of the week song. Here we go. Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday too. Every day is a happy day, every day is a magic day. Each day is a different day and every day is new. What else have you been doing on this lovely Friday? I'd love to hear all about it. We've been doing lots of baking. Bella's made some wonderful cookies, which I'm going to eat. I'm going to spend all day eating them, I think. <laughs> She's, Bella likes to bake. She's the best baker I've ever met. And it's wonderful because I get to eat all of the yummy things that she makes. Let's sing some more of today's songs. And if you have a favourite song that you'd like me to sing along this afternoon, then let me know in the comments on YouTube. I can see your comments immediately. And I can also see your comments on Instagram, but Bella writes them down for me and then she sends them in the post. So if you have a special song that you would like me to sing, then please let me know and I'll make sure to sing it for you. We're going to start this afternoon with the song that brings the sunshine up for us. The song has got his hat on. Yes. Yes, the Bella. The sun, not the song. The song. Oh my god. Well, the song might have his hat on, but you're right, Bella. The sun has got his hat on. The sun has got his hat on. Hip 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 hooray. The sun has got his hat on and he's coming out to play. Now we'll all be happy. Hip 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 hooray. The sun has got his hat on and he's coming out to play. He's been roasting peanuts out in Timbuktu. Now he's coming back to do the same to you so jump into your sun bath hip 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 hooray the sun has got his hat on and he's coming out to play oh dear the sun's sort of shining now but it's still raining maybe there'll be a rainbow i hope so that would be wonderful wouldn't it now Snuggle up with somebody that you love. Give them a big squidge. It might be your dolly or it might be your grown up. We're going to sing, You Are My Sunshine. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are grey. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. So don't take my sunshine away. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are grey. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. So don't take my sunshine away. <laughs> well done, everybody. I wonder if that singing might bring the sunshine out a little bit more today. I can see it shining through the clouds. Now, Octavia has asked for our next song, which is The Wheels on the Bus. Do you know, even though the, song isn't, uh, the sun is not shining, it's still very, very warm. So I'm going to 
pop that there. Right then, let's sing the wheels on the bus. Step into your buses, everybody. Show me those wheels going around and around. And let's sing together. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. What comes next? The wipers. We need the wipers today because it's raining. The wipers on the bus. Swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all day long. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep all day long. The babies on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The babies on the bus go up and down all day long. The lights on the bus go blink, 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 blink. The lights on the bus go blink, 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 all day long. The driver on the bus says, move along please, move along please, move along please. The driver on the bus says, move along please, all day long. <laughs> well done everybody. Now let's sing that grand old Duke of York. Or as um, Elodie sings it, she sings the Grand Old Duke of Bork. And <laughs> it's very, very funny. And what does she say? He marched up some hills and he marched back down. She doesn't sing it quite well. So we need to teach it to her. Can you all join in? Oh, the Grand Old Duke of York. He had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Well done, everybody. Shall we use our lovely Dolly to sing the hokey cokey? Okay. Now, I do apologise. I can never figure out with YouTube whether you can see me the right way around. So if I'm getting my right and left mixed up, do you tell me? Because I don't want to give anyone uh, the wrong way around. Otherwise, that might make life quite complicated. You put your right arm in, your right arm out. In, out, in, out, you shake it all about. You do the hokey cokey and you turn around. That's what it's all about. Whoa, the hokey cokey. Whoa, the hokey cokey. Whoa, the hokey cokey. Knees bent, arms stretched, rah, rah, rah. You put your left arm in, your left arm out. In, out, in, out, you shake it all about. You do the hokey cokey and you turn around. That's what it's all about. Whoa. Whoa, the hokey cokey. Whoa, the hokey. Knees bent, arms stretched, rah, rah, rah. You put your right foot in, your right foot out, in, out, in, out, you shake it all about. You do the hokey cokey and you turn around. That's what it's all about. Whoa, the hokey cokey. Whoa, the hokey cokey. Whoa, the hokey cokey. Knees bent, arms stretched, rah, rah, rah. You put your left leg in, your left leg out, in, out, in, out, you shake it all about. You do the hokey cokey and you turn around. That's what it's all about. Whoa, the hokey cokey. Whoa, the hokey cokey. Whoa, the hokey cokey. Knees bent, arms stretched, rah, rah, rah. You put your whole self in, your whole self out. In, out, in, out, you shake it all about. You do the hokey cokey and you turn around. What it's all about, all together. Whoa, the hokey cokey. Whoa, the hokey cokey. Whoa, the hokey cokey. Knees bent, 
arms stretched, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> did you enjoy that, Dolly? You did? Oh, fantastic. Well, we'll do it again later when we go live with the fish. What do you think? We'll do that all over again. And if you're watching now and you're in desperate need of a story, then have no fear. At four o'clock, another chance for a cup of tea. I will be going live with The Fish Hotel and I'm going to be reading the first hippo on the moon. Now do you know sometimes when I go live on The Fish, nobody talks to me. It feels like nobody's there. So make sure you jump on the Instagram channel The Fish Hotel. See me live at four o'clock and please say hello so I don't feel lonely. <laughs> I'm really joking. Big hellos today. My goodness, there are quite a few. A big hello to lovely Alfie. Alfie, are you still dressed up as Spider-Man? Are you? I wonder. And a big hello to Amelia and to Millie. Hello to, now I'm going to try and read this one. Is it? Is this Angie still and Annabelle? who would like Old MacDonald. A big hello to Florence and Finley, who would like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Well, don't worry, because we're going to do that one right at the end. A big hello to Verity. Hello, Verity, is this your first time watching us? Hi there. And you wanted the hokey cokey. Well, what are the chances? I don't often do that one, that was just for you. And a big hello to Alana. And hello to everyone watching over on the YouTube channel. Hello, thank you so much. Big hellos to Octavia and Mariella and anybody else on YouTube. Do make sure to say hello and then I can see it. <laughs> Let's sing another song. We're going to sing Wind the Bobbin Up right before Old MacDonald. Wind the bobbin up, wind the bobbin up, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Wind it back again, wind it back again, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor, point to the window, point to the door. Clap your hands together, one, two, three. Put your hands upon your knees. Let's get into old MacDonald. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a cow. E-I-E-I-O, with a moo here and a moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a cat. E-I-E-I-O, with a meow here and a meow there. Here a meow, there a meow, everywhere a meow meow. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a pig. E-I-E-I-O. With an oink oink here and an oink oink there. Here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink oink. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a horse. E-I-E-I-O. With a neigh here and a Nay, there, here a nay, there a nay, everywhere a nay, nay. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a sheep, E-I-E-I-O. With a ba here and a ba there. Here a ba, there a ba, everywhere a ba ba. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> now, we are going to sing a song about something we made yesterday. And hopefully I've got my stickers on in just the way that we won't fall over, but it won't be too difficult to knock our green bottles off the wall. So here are our 10 green bottles. Let's count them, make sure they're all there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now I made these yesterday during our live on YouTube, which is still there. So the recipe for salt dough for making these is up there now. And if you want, you can also make them out of paper. This is so that your little ones can sing along and count how many bottles they have along with me. 10 green bottles sitting on the wall. 10 green bottles sitting on the wall. And if one green bottle should accidentally fall. 
There'd be nine green bottles sitting on the wall. Nine green bottles sitting on the wall. And if one green bottle should accidentally fall. I'm going to flick this one, ready? <laughs> <laughs> There'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight green bottles sitting on the wall. Eight green bottles sitting on the wall. And if one green bottle should accidentally fall, there'd be seven green bottles sitting on the wall. Seven green bottles sitting on the wall. And if one green bottle should accidentally fall, there'd be one. Two, three, four, five, six. Six green bottles sitting on the wall. Six green bottles sitting on the wall. And if one green bottle should accidentally fall, there'd be five green bottles sitting on the wall. Five green bottles sitting on the wall. And if one green bottle should accidentally fall. Well, you tell me, how many would there be sitting on the wall? Well done! One, two, three, four. Four green bottles sitting on the wall. Four green bottles sitting on the wall. And if one green bottle should accidentally fall, there'd be three green bottles sitting on the wall. Three green bottles sitting on the wall. And if one green bottle should accidentally fall, There'd be one, two, two green bottles sitting on the wall, two green bottles sitting on the wall, and if one green bottle should accidentally fall, there'd be one green bottle sitting on the wall, one green bottle sitting on the wall, and if that green bottle should accidentally fall, there'd be no green bottles sitting on the wall. Help me count those bottles back up again. Let's check we haven't lost any. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and Ten! There they are, all ready for next time. Now, who is ready to do some crafting with me? You are a oh, fantastic. Now, let's start with some paper. Now, we can use normal white paper. Bella, could you just grab me some white paper from the printer, please? Or you can paint your paper blue. So it's totally up to you what you use. So we've got white paper and that's absolutely fine and you can colour around it or you can use blue paper or if you're feeling really creative for your next octopus you can paint your paper and I painted mine with a bit of blue and a little bit of purple. Then you're going to grab your cut out semicircle. We're going to cut out our semicircle. So this is going to be our octopus head. Now hopefully you've managed to cut out some eyes or you might have some googly eyes. Can you see them? So these are our googly eyes. You can make googly eyes with round circles of white paper and you can just colour them in with pencil or a black pen. Two of them for our octopus. We're going to stick them on and suddenly Cosmo our octopus comes alive just like you. So let's stick those googly eyes on. There we are. So here is our octopus head. Now, hopefully, if you manage to get to my stories in time, you'll have also managed to cut out some squiggly lines just like this. Now, you're going to need eight of these because an octopus has eight tentacles, don't you, Cosmo? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's one just around the back there. You're going to need eight of these. And what I've done is I've popped some glue right the way across the back 
of my octopus head. So what we're now going to do is count eight tentacles. And I've used a little bit, I've, I've cheated a bit because I've used some sticky back um, tape for this. That's just because I need to be nice and quick. But Prit stick is fine, PVA glue is fine as well. So here's my octopus and he's got some glue across the bottom and we're going to stick his tentacles all the way across the bottom of him. Now what I've also done, if you want to make this activity mathsy grown-ups, is I've drawn the dots on each tentacle. So for number one, we've got one dot. Can you see? There we go. What's the Bella? Someone looked up what an octopus has and they have arms. Oh, head. arms. Thank you very much. My goodness. That's me. I've, I've not learnt it properly. It is their arms. You have arms. I'm so sorry, Cosmo. Tentacles are jellyfish, aren't they? Yeah, I think. I might be wrong. You wouldn't believe I was a primary school teacher, would you? Okay, so we've got one dot on our first tentacle, two dots on our second tentacle, Three dots on our third tentacle. There we are. Four dots on our fourth. Now you can leave the dots for counting just as they are. But if you saw my stories, you'll have also seen that we cut out some splodges. And those are to help you with your counting. So let's carry on putting these on. So there you are. Those are your arms, Mr. Octopus or Mrs Octopus, or Miss, or Sir, or Lady, could be any. <laughs> so there you are, we're looking a little bit more like an octopus now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick that all on to my page, into our lovely cushion. Okay, you ready? Let's stick you on. There, just like that. He's going to live in the sea right there. Now the next thing that you need to do is grab these little dots. Let's just grab them. They're a little bit fiddly but can you see I've cut out lots of little circular bits of paper. There are 36 of these in total and then what we're going to do is pop some glue on our octopus arms. So let's put some here. Now this is where the dots come in handy because this is where it's becoming a little bit of a counting game and it really very much depends on how old you are and whether you've got a grown-up helping you, whether you need a grown-up to help you, you might not. So this is a really, really great counting game, grown-ups, and you can stick the dots on permanently or this can be a counting game that you use every so often. But we're going to stick the dots on. Now another thing that you can do is count the tentacles and write, not the tentacles, I'm so sorry, the arms and write the numbers at the top. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to stick on the dots that match the number. So one, two, and then we've got a three, so I'm going to make three up here, one, two, three. And for each tentacle, you're going to look at the number, put that many stickers on its arm. I keep saying tentacles, I'm never so sorry. It's, it's, it's learned now, it's in my brain. <laughs> so that's how we make our lovely octopus. And like I said, you can use it as a game, so you don't have to stick those stickers on, you can do it however you like. But this is what you'll end up making. And I would love to see if you manage to make your very own octopus picture. And if you do, send me a picture, and I'll, if you allow me, I'll put it on my stories, because I want to celebrate with you. Now, Bella has also been busy crafting her own little octopus art and craft, and she's used the treasure chest that I made on one of my videos the other day. They're also on YouTube, so you'll be able to find them. They're, they're titled, so it should be quite clear. But she's made lots. Look, look at this little octopus. And these have been made using pom-poms and pipe cleaners and little googly eyes. Absolutely gorgeous. I love that. Can you see them all? And they all match their colours. 
Well done, Bella. I love seeing people get crafty. So that's been our craft for today. Our oh, oh, octopus. Great job. Please do let me see the lovely art that you make. I can't wait to see what you create. Right then, before I go, let's sing a few more songs. And apparently I have some more hellos to do. Let's have a look. A big hello to Isabel and Alfie, Alana and Annabelle, India and Camilla and Lila and Archie. Hello. <laughs> big hellos to you. I will be singing another couple of songs. And then I've got a tea party that I'm going to go and sing for, which if you want, if you want a tea party with your friends, let me know, get your grown-ups to message me and I'll arrange that for you. And then I will be back at four o'clock with songs and a story. And that will be over on the Fish Hotel Instagram page. So do make sure to say a big hello to me. Right then, let's sing our ABC song. Off we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my A, B, C. Next time won't you sing with me? And now, just for you, twinkle, twinkle, little star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. It's been so lovely to see you this afternoon. I will see you again at four o'clock for a brilliant story, lots more songs and lots more fun. Bye. <laughs>